Are you trying to start or advance your career in cybersecurity? One of the most difficult things to do in this career field is to gain experience with actual tools that we use on a daily basis while either not working in the career field at all or having to pay that huge price tag that some of these things cost. Let's be honest, some of the tools that we need to know are way out of our personal budget. Have no fear because in this video, I'm gonna give you the top five free, that's right, free cybersecurity tools that you can learn right now. I provided resources in the description for each of these tools to help you learn more. Also, make sure that as we go through the list that you give feedback on the content and to like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps get the content out there to other people just like you that want this content. All right, let's do this. Tool number one on the list is Kali Linux. Kali Linux, or sometimes it's called Kali, which several years ago was also called Backtrack Linux, is an open source Debian-based Linux distribution which allows users to perform advanced penetration testing and security auditing. Now there's lots of different platforms that you can use Kali Linux on for free, including virtual machines, the cloud, and even on a Raspberry Pi. One of the best things about Kali Linux is that it includes hundreds of tools, configurations, and scripts with industry-specific modifications that allow users to focus on tasks such as computer forensics, reverse engineering, and vulnerability detection instead of dealing with unrelated activities like installing or configuring the tools. Now you don't have to be in a specific job to use Kali, but most commonly it's used by information security professionals and security hobbyists. That said, Kali is specifically tailored to the needs of experienced penetration testers, therefore all documentation that you're gonna find on the Kali website and other resources is gonna assume that you have prior knowledge of and familiarity with the Linux operating system in general. So on the Kali website, you can find several of the features for it. So first of all, it's free and it always will be, which is amazing. Features an open source Git tree. It's compliant with file system hierarchy standard. It has wide ranging support for devices. It includes a custom kernel that's patched for injection. So any kind of specialty tests you need to do, especially for wireless assessments. It's developed in a secure environment, which is always important for open source tools. It has GPG signed packages and repositories. That way you know you're getting official sources. It features multi-language support. It's completely customizable, which is always important for any kind of tooling. And then you have some additional support for ARM. Okay, so this is Kali Linux, and it's very similar to any other type of Linux operating system, except if you go to the start menu, you'll see all these different tools that are really related to penetration testing and security testing. So there's a whole bunch of preloaded tools that you can use depending on what you're trying to do. If you'd rather go through the documentation, you can go to the Kali Linux website and go to the menu under documentation and then tools documentation. And there's a whole bunch of documentation on every single tool that comes preloaded with Kali Linux. So you can click on here, see syntax and all kinds of different things about the different tools. Tool number two is Metasploit. Metasploit is the most widely used exploitation framework. Metasploit's a powerful tool that can support all phases of a penetration test engagement from information gathering to post-exploitation. Although the most common use case for Metasploit is penetration testing, it can also be useful for vulnerability research and exploit development. Now there's two versions of Metasploit that you may use in your career. First of all, Metasploit Pro, which is the commercial version and it includes additional features like a graphical user interface or GUI and more things. And you have the Metasploit framework, which is the free open source version used on the command line. The main components of the Metasploit framework are the MSF console or the main command line interface, modules such as exploits, scanners, payloads, and so on, and tools, which are standalone tools that will help vulnerability research, vulnerability assessment, or penetration testing. Some of the common tools are MSF Venom, Pattern Create, and Pattern Offset that are useful in exploit development. In my opinion, the best way to use the Metasploit framework is with tool number one, Kali Linux. I want to show you some brief functionality of Metasploit, but you'll want to check out the description for resources where you can dive deeper into learning about it. If you want to get your hands on Metasploit and you don't want to use it through Kali Linux, you can go to the Rapid7 website and you'll be able to get it from there. If you want to use Metasploit in Kali Linux, you can do that as well. Go ahead and open up a terminal type MSF console and that will open up Metasploit. Then if you type show exploits, that will show you all the different exploits that exist 
in Metasploit. There's a whole bunch of them. You can also search by specific exploits or specific vulnerabilities by typing the search function and then type in what you want to find. If you have a specific exploit you want to use, you can use the use command and type that in. Then if you type show info, it will show information about that exploit. So things like the operating system that's vulnerable and a whole bunch of other information, who submitted it and things like that. If you type show options, this will show you the different options that you can set. You can also type show payloads and that will show you the different payloads that exist for that exploit. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. If you are, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. That way YouTube knows the content is helpful for other people. Also, make sure to check out the description for more resources related to this video. All right, let's get back to the content. John the Ripper is tool number three, which is also sometimes abbreviated as JTR. John the Ripper is a fast password cracker currently available for many flavors of Unix, Mac OS, Windows, DOS, BOS, and OpenVMS. Detecting weak Unix passwords is the primary purpose of John the Ripper, but it also supports Kerberos or AFS and Windows Landman hashes or LM hashes, DES-based trip codes, plus hundreds of additional hashes and ciphers in jumbo versions. Basically, this is one of the favorite tools out there that's used for password cracking. Just like with the others on the list, I've included the links to the tool in the description. If you want to crack passwords with John the Ripper in Kali Linux, this is what you can do. So I have this file called password.txt, and it has a password inside of here. It's not in clear text. If I go back to the command line and I type cat on that file, we'll see it's the exact same value. Then I can use this command here that says I'm giving it a single password to crack. The format is raw SHA-1 format, and it's in this password.txt file. So if I hit return, it went ahead and cracked that password for us. Tool number four is Wireshark. Wireshark is a tool used for creating and analyzing PCAPs, which are network packet capture files, and is one of the most commonly and best packet capture analysis tools. So for example, if you're recording network packets going across your network, you can use Wireshark to dive deeper into those packets. And in many cases, if the packets aren't encrypted, you can actually see what's included. Even if the packets are encrypted, you can still see a lot of networking information like the source and the destination addresses, protocols, and more. If you wanna work in a security operations center or a SOC or many other technical roles in either security or IT, you definitely wanna learn Wireshark. Another benefit of Kali Linux is it comes preloaded with Wireshark. So if I go to the start menu and I type Wireshark, I have to select the interface that I wanna capture network traffic on, and then I can hit start capture. If I open up a web browser and I go to google.com, you can see in the background that it's starting to capture. So if I hit stop on this, this will have a whole bunch of information about that network traffic. Tool number five is Waza. Created in 2015, Waza is an open source, freely available, and an extensive endpoint detection and response solution, which is also sometimes called an EDR solution. It can be used in all scales of environments, whether that's on-premise, virtualized, containerized, or cloud-based. Waza operates on a management and agent model where the manager is dedicated to running Waza and is responsible for managing agents that are installed on devices that you're trying to monitor. This is just like a lot of other enterprise type software out there that we might use like Splunk or antivirus software and it allows a centralized location for the agents to report back to. Out of all the tools that we've discussed in this video, this is the type of tool that you think about most commonly when you're thinking about enterprise environments. Just like Wireshark, if you wanna work in a security operations center or many other defensive cybersecurity jobs, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to spend some time learning about Waza. Just like with the other tools, here's the website for Waza, and you can see they've included a few different graphics to help you kind of understand what Waza is before you start messing around with it. If you install Waza, this is what it's gonna look like. So it's very similar to other similar types of tools like Splunk and anything else in this category. It's got different severities. So if I go ahead and click on the medium severity, this will give us a whole bunch of different information about the traffic that's going on on that system. The possibilities are endless of projects that you can do with this. So your limitation is only your creativity. Question of the day, which of these tools from the list have you either used or heard about before? Are there others that you've heard about that are really common that I missed? Let me know down in the comments section below. In this video, we discuss the top five free cybersecurity tools that you should learn right now. There are absolutely other free tools out there, and if you think that we should spend some time on them, don't hesitate to let me know. 
As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At CyberTrainingPro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at CyberTrainingPro.com and start building your future today.